Have you ever heard of inflammaging? It's really a term meaning that as we get older, we become more inflamed and that accelerates the aging process. In fact, I recently discovered that all chronic diseases that happen after the age of 42 have inflammation as one of the root causes of the disease. This applies to things like cancer and heart disease and Alzheimer's disease, amongst many others. So getting inflammation right is one of the keys to healthy living and healthy aging. So what causes inflammation? Well, so many things cause inflammation. The two biggest that I'm telling my patients about all the time are the foods that we eat and what's happening in our gut, the gut bacteria that are living there. But there's other factors too. Other factors include the balance of your hormones, your exposure to toxins, um, how active you are in your lifestyle, excess body fat leads to inflammation, alcohol, and even stress and lack of sleep can all contribute to inflammation. This is something we don't have to worry about when we're younger, but as we get older, these are things that lead to chronic disease. And I believe we have two choices in life. We can either be reactive and wait for bad things to happen, or we can be proactive. And the cool thing about being proactive is it helps us feel better now. So we feel better. We feel more energetic and vibrant and alive, but then we also feel confident that we're protecting ourselves for future diseases as well, which is really amazing. So not all inflammation is bad. When you injure yourself, you want your body to mount a healthy inflammatory response. My husband broke his rib recently doing some jujitsu fighting and it is healing so remarkably fast. It's almost unbelievable. So his inflammatory system has kicked in and it's healing the injury but we don't want that inflammation to go on unchecked forever. It needs to have a stop point. And that's what often doesn't happen um, as we get older. The inflammation just goes unchecked and continues and continues and continues. And that leads to feeling poorly and also chronic diseases. So things you can do to decrease your inflammation is you can get great sleep. You can mitigate your stress by taking breaks and meditating and um, thinking positive, great thoughts. Um, you can eat whole foods and get the processed foods out of your diet. And then you can consider working with a healthcare professional like us here at Best Life, where we can help test your gut and get you on the right high quality supplements to decrease your inflammation for now and into the future. Have an amazing day.